Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Delaya from thedelayab.com and I'm an elevated streetwear designer. My channel is about fashion design, style, and wellness. So if any of that touches your soul, go on and hit that subscribe button right now. Today's video is actually part one of a three-part collab illustration series with one of my good friends, Dominic Battle. It is for Dapper Day 2020. Um, it was supposed to be in April, but because we all can't leave the house, it is postponed to July, I think. Dapper Day is basically um, a group of people, a lot of people, who come together on a special day and dress up, we'll say like 1940s, 1950s. It's basically dressing up to go out. She's also into Disney bounding, which is when you dress up like a Disney character, but it's not in the costume sense. It's more so you interpret a Disney character using your personal style so you can, you can take a Disney character and using regular clothes, regular t-shirt, regular jeans, whatever, what have you, recreate that character through your own interpretation and through your own personal touch. It's cool to see the same characters interpreted in different ways. You have personal experience that makes a difference. You have personal style that makes a difference. You have what is readily available that makes a difference. It's really cool to see how some of these outfits turn out. As I mentioned in my Why I Love Fashion video, Fashion and style is a great way to showcase who you are as an individual. You can portray something that you really love, a hobby or whatever, through your personal style. And Disney bounding is a perfect way for my friend to do that. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a design collab with me and my friend who's into Disney. Like she eats, breathes, and drinks, and meditates, and everything Disney. I've been wanting to do this collab with her for a while, but I didn't really know how to approach her or what I would actually do. But at the end of last year when I, I don't want to say niche down, but when I decided to focus on tailoring and refined elevated clothing and elevated street style, I slid in her DMs and asked if this was something she wanted to collab on. I figured Dapper Day, you dress up, it's a little regal. So I figured it'd be a good spot for me and my design and my focus to fit in with her world. I asked her if she was down with it. She was. She is down with it. So I came up with ideas for her design. When talking, I don't know how I did this, but her message says that she is going as Cinderella and one of her other friends is going as Fairy Godmother. I somehow, not paying that close attention, interpreted it as she was going as Fairy Godmother. So this three-part series is technically for Fairy Godmother, but because Fairy Godmother and Cinderella kind of have the same color scheme, we can easily translate them and work around that. So. These may kind of correlate to Fairy Godmother, but we're translating them to Cinderella, just so you know and you're aware. So, with that disclaimer, let's get to it. Please excuse my naps and edges and any scarves you see in this video. They will be making an appearance from time to time. So the idea behind the first design option was to keep it sporty but also have a girly vibe to it. It was something where the silhouette could be recognized as athletic wear or athleisure but was oversized and exaggerated and still have that feminine flair to it. I know I wanted the sleeves to be voluminous and exaggerated. Fairy Godmother has a pretty like wide and hanging sleeve of her own. But to keep it casual, I wanted the, the scrunchy and bubble shape to it. I also know I wanted it to be a sheer fabric, something like organza or tulle and have layers and layers layered on top of each other to create the exaggerated volume. And that would have also added a softer and feminine touch to the hoodie that I know I wanted it to be.
the final design is a layer tulle organza dress. I haven't decided, but it's a high low to make it more playful. At the shoulders, there's one layer of fabric, so the skin will have a little peekaboo moment. And the volume is created with the layers and layers of fabric and gathers at the bicep and the chest. There are bungee cords and toggles at the waist and at the wrists. They bunch up the fabric and hold it in place in order to create the definition at the waists and wrists that create that billowy voluminous effect. And again, add that sporty athletic touch. Spoiler alert, this design wasn't chosen for the final Dapper Day look and I'm low key glad it wasn't because I would have hated sewing this together. Here I'm adding the contrast color of the pink at the hoodie draw cord and the bungee cords and the shoes because this was mistakenly supposed to be fairy godmother. So just pretend it's blue. Detail here is the draw cords. They were created thick because fairy godmother has a bow on her hood. So in the outfit I figured it would be a cool idea to recreate that. So the draw cord can double as the bow. And this is the finished design for option one and part one of this three-part illustration series. 
So tell me in the comments how you feel about this design. Is it too much? Does it look like Fairy Godmother? Do you think it can be used for Cinderella? Sound off in the comments and let me know. Part 2 of the series and Design 2 will be posted next week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when that goes live. A little teaser for the next design, it is definitely more tailored and a little less volume than this one. Until next time guys, stay safe and keep designing your best life. Bye!